Oh, it's freezing out there. Close the door. Did you get more wood? Oh, yeah. Hey, what's that? It's a Christmas poem. Twas the night before Christmas. I downloaded it from the internet. Oh, I know this one. Ahem. <clears throat> Twas the night before Christmas, and all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even Meowth. <laughs> eggnog's ready. Eggnog? Yeah, Brock made eggnog and Christmas cookies. All right! Oh, you guys are reading the night before Christmas. Ahem. <clears throat> Twas the night before Christmas, and... Uh, I already read that part. Pick it up from here, Brocko. Uh, right. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of vile plumes danced in their heads. Hmm. Hey, uh, where'd you download this version from, Misty? <laughs> and my mom in her kerchief and Mr. Mime in my cap, and I think Professor Oak was there too, had just settled their brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the roof there arose such a clatter... Hey, what was that? Did anybody else hear that? I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutter, and saw a rapid dash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to jinxes below. When what to my half-open eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than Moltres, his courses they came. He whistled and shouted and called them by name. Ah! To protect the world from devastation. Team Rocket! I knew I heard something. What are you doing here? We came to capture some rare Pokemon so the boss will give us our Christmas bonuses this year. Oh, isn't that quaint? They're reading a Christmas poem. Ooh, Jesse, this is my favorite part. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen. On Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. Anyway, as I was saying... Move over to work. Ah! I'm reading this part. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the courses they flew with the sleigh full of toys. And some Pokemon, too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the rooftop the prancing and pawing of each little Machop. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot. A lot like me, actually. And his clothes were all tarnished like ashes with soot. Huh? A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a trainer just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. Ooh, his cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod... Up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle. And away they all flew, like uh, the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim as he drove off to the mall. Happy Pokemon Christmas! Catch them all! Catch them all!